Mary Bear introduces us to a world-class wrestler whose mission is to help other young women grapple for their goals. That is Sally Roberts. She's a champion on the wrestling mat, a three-time national champion, 2003 World Cup champion, 2003 and 2005 World Bronze medalist, and a 2008 Olympic alternate. Now, though, she's in a fight to give all girls a chance to hit the mat, just like the Olympians they see. I've watched girls from turn from like a sheep, basically, to the leader in the room. Sally Roberts knows her sport is a game changer for girls everywhere. It's the perfect opportunity to teach girls resilience, confidence, sisterhood, teamwork. She founded Wrestle Like a Girl after the sport saved her from a challenging home life in Southern Oregon. I would go out after school and shoplift. I broke into houses. I actually got arrested so many times that I was put in front of a juvenile detention officer that told me that if I didn't find an after school sport, I would find myself facing juvenile detention. Wrestling found her and changed everything. She went on to become an Olympic alternate and then turned her focus to serving her country in the Army. But when she came out, she hit the ground running. To state sanctioned girls wrestling, that means that girls get to compete against other girls just like any other sport. Now she travels the nation lobbying to get states like Florida to sanction the sport for girls at the high school level. I don't know that there's another sport that has the same growth trajectory that Sally Roberts has created for the sport of wrestling. Olympic gold medal swimmer Nancy Hogshead Makar is an advocate for access and equality in athletics and says Roberts and her mission are a game changer for girls. Sally Roberts has been able to get the coaching association, USA Wrestling, all these groups, the NCAA high school, these are such different groups and to get them all on board for women's wrestling, girls and women's wrestling. It's amazing. Both agree. When girls get to wrestle other girls instead of boys, their confidence goes up, their injuries decrease, and they can really shine. Is that wrestling, it's not pulling from other sports like soccer or softball. Mm -hmm. They're girls and women that have previously been invisible and we're providing them an opportunity. Now, what do you mean by that, they've been invisible? They haven't participated in any sports. They may have come from fringe families. Robert says many of these athletes tend to come from working class, blue collar families. That's the culture and the history of wrestling. It's open for any body. You can be anywhere from 100 pounds up to 215 pounds, and there's a place for you on the mat. And that inclusivity is what makes the sports so special. Is that in addition to teaching sport, we're teaching girls how to own their space, their voice, and their bodies. We're teaching a sport that also incorporates self-defense. When they look at themselves in the mirror, they're no longer just um, girls or women. They're athletes, and they're proud, and they're confident. There are now 32 states that have sanctioned girls wrestling, and Florida, Robert says, has been a little late to the mat. And if we can give them this opportunity, if we can fund their sporting programs, they're not only going to thrive, but they will flourish in so many ways above and beyond sport. Roberts says the decision by the Florida High School Athletic Association to pause the sport for one more year and then get a girls wrestling championship started for 2023 will actually hold the sport back even more after the pandemic left many athletes behind. She says it's not in the best interest of these athletes. Athletes like Madison Blackburn, who can taste a sanctioned state championship. She wants to be the first. Like, I want that crowd. I want that, you know, be like, this is my sport. You know, we're recognized as an official sport. And all these girls in the past years that haven't had that chance, you know, I want to be there and have that chance. Coming up tonight, hear how this young local wrestler has taken on the boys and won for years. But now she and many other girls are ready for their own sanctioned state championship.